Now, just like with most programming languages, we do have operators. And so till now, we've just been working with the equals operator. So if I need to get, um, you know, any product that has a price of, you know, 20, I would just say where price equals 20. And I don't look, it looks like I don't actually have any items with the price of 20. So I'm just going to do 200 because I see that the TV is 200. So if we run that, it works just fine. However, what if instead of doing this, I want to retrieve all of the items that have a price uh, of greater than 50. How do I do that? Well, it really is fundamentally no different than how we do it in Python. So I could say where, and I'll say price is, and then we have greater than 50. So this is going to grab any item that's basically 51 or higher. And it's not inclusive, so it doesn't include 50. And so now look, it looks like it grabbed all of the items that cost more than 50 bucks. Um, but if I wanted to say greater than or equal to 50, I can say just greater than or equal to 50. If I run this, we can see once again, it works just fine, but uh, I don't have any products that are priced at 50, so I'll try this again with just 80. So we'll say greater than 80. It should not return this one because 80 is not greater than 80. So we can see the 80 is gone, but then if I do greater than or equal to, we can see the 80 is back. And we get the same thing with the less than and less than equal to, so I could say less than 80. And I could say less than or equal to 80 as well. And then the last operator that I want to discuss is the not operator. So if I wanted to grab any product that does not have a uh, inventory of zero, I can say where inventory. And we have two different ways of doing this. I can say not equals. So this is kind of the similar syntax that you see in some other programming languages, not Python, but um, other programming languages, I could say not equals and then zero. This is going to give me every product that we do have adequate stock for. And so now we see we get no columns or sorry, no rows with an inventory of zero, but we can also use this syntax. So the greater than, sorry, the less than, and then the greater than if we run that. We should get the same exact result. All right. So let's move on to uh, performing multiple operators. So let's say I want to grab any item that we have inventory of. So any, any item that has an inventory greater than zero that also costs more than $10. How would we do that? And I'm sure you guys can probably take a guess at this, but we'll do inventory greater than zero. And then how do we add that next statement where we say greater than, I forgot what I said, greater than 20. So we could just say, and simple as that. We do and, and then we pass in the next criteria. We'll say, and price is greater than 20. Let's try that out. And I realized I forgot the where keyword here. So that's why it's throwing an error. All right. And so now we got every single product that has an inventory greater than zero and a price of greater than 20. And just like with an and operator, we also have an or operator. Uh, and so if I want to see any product that is either uh, greater than $100 or less than 20, I can say where, uh, where price is greater than a hundred or price is less than 20. And so now we can use two criteria, and as long as it matches one, one or both of the criteria, it's going to return that result.